So here we are pulling the uh, cartridge out of the camera now and we're going to develop the film. So um, I've got two sheets of film in the cartridge. This is a double dark slide so it holds two sheets, two sheets of 4x5. Uh, oh good, lost frames there, good, nice. Uh, so here we go with the, um, uh, this drum is uh, one of the Jobo drums. I haven't got the insert for this but I can put two sheets at a time in the drum. Uh, the insert is very expensive. One day I might buy one. So that's the top. We've got the uh, the cut piece connected to the top of the lid. In goes the cartridge. Everything is done under the um, dark bag, uh, change bag, and um, all done in daylight. That's the beauty of the change bag. So I'm just putting my hands in the two holes there. Look like sleeves and I'm pulling the film out of the cartridge into the drum. So we've got that loaded now. Doesn't take that long. And so the cartridge is empty now. So probably a good idea to actually, um, uh, I didn't do it fully here, but just inspect the cartridge, make sure there's no dust or anything in anyway, just a bit, a bit of a clean up. And also make, this, make sure the slides actually go back in with the white side out. Um, and this just indicates that it's empty now. Um, putting it back into the cartridge. Putting the lock tabs in. It's ready to be loaded with uh, some more film. Okay, so the first thing that uh, we do here is actually a pre-wash. Do a pre-wash on the film to get rid of all the uh, coating on the film. Um, and you'll see the coating come off. It actually uh, it sort of turns. Uh, it's a blue colour. Um, this is just water. Just a pre-wash with water. And we'll do this a quite a few times on the film here. You've only seen me do it once here, but um, I do it quite a few times until I hardly see any of that blue come out. I like to just get a full wash, uh, all that stuff off the film before I put the first developer in. So I'm using Kodak D76 Film Developer. I find this is a very good, uh, uh, nice contrast developer. Um, I get some good results from film from this developer and it's a, um, a powdered form. I mix it up, um, very cheap, and I usually use probably about two or three goes on the film and then I shot it, um, shot it out. Uh, because of the cost, you know, not too worried about reusing it too many times. Okay, so the developer, uh, depending on the temperature, look at your chart I guess on the film uh, in this case we're developing for eight minutes after the eight minutes eight minutes is up I put it back in the bottle next time probably about two or three goes I think with the developer so back in we do a rinse between this stage and the fixing stage I rinse quite a bit here Next in go the fixer. Now I guess you guys are pretty well up on uh, the development of black and white film. Um, there's lots of stuff on the net that will show you all the intricacies of uh, black and white developing. But the fixer develop, uh, the fix, fixes the, um, the film in place. Um, if I were to pull the film out now, of course, after the developer, it would um, haze up fog and probably go black on me. Uh, so the fix is there for five minutes, and now we've got rid of the fixer, and we're about to uh, watch the film, and have a look at our results. There's my first sheet coming out. So this is the... Uh, so the shot of the, um, the full lighthouse. So there you go, four by five film, beautiful. I'm very happy with that result actually, with um, with the first uh, actual outside shot coming off the camera. Very very happy. Here's the next shot. It's the one close up, looking straight up to the top of the lighthouse. 
uh, the contrast and tonal range of the film, very, very happy. Uh, the exposure was pretty well spot on. Don't think I would have um, thought that the exposure would have changed. A five second exposure was pretty good. Right, so we're just using some uh, Ilford paper. Um, this is close to a 4x5 size. I got this stuff on eBay really cheap. So, um, just trialing this. Uh, most of the stuff's been stored away for quite a few years. And I have used this uh, a couple of these sheets before, which worked out not too bad. It's a little bit less than 4x5, but we'll see how we go. So, make sure, obviously, with paper, you do all this under red safe light any light anywhere because you'll make all the paper go black and you'll ruin the whole box. So I've got my paper here. Uh, when we're in this sort of light, just look for the shiny side of the paper. That's basically the emulsion of the paper. Uh, the emulsion side of the film goes down on top. And just a heavy piece of glass on top here. I'm just going to sandwich the print on top. Glass down, and then we're going to uh, time this for about five seconds. Now I haven't got any timer set up, so I'm just going to count this through: 1,001, 1,002, 1,004, 1,005. Okay, we'll see how this goes. So we're coming over here now. We're going to put this into the developer. Have a look. Of course, this print is a little bit too long for the tray. But we'll just use this as a test anyway. So hopefully you can see that. It's really hard to see this in under red light. The camera is uh, it's not a bad camera, but seeing this under red light is a little bit difficult. And here's the print coming through. Very happy with the negative actually come off this camera. Very happy. So we'll do this print, we'll do the next one, and uh, I'll scan these print, and um, it'll be at the end of this video. You'll see the results of the prints at the end of the video. So thanks very much for sticking around for 13 uh, parts series, and um, hopefully next time I think we might be building a Another pinhole camera, but a 120 this time, not a 4x5. So until then, good luck with your projects, and we'll catch you next time.